Hi you guys, it's Lisa Joy Young and oh my gosh, I am back. It's been a long time since I've been here on YouTube. I actually had to go check when my last video was because I couldn't even remember and it's been six years, which is crazy for me to think about. And so much has happened in those six years. I recently went on Instagram and I told everyone about my new Instagram page. It's New South Entertainment, and that is my new um, professional face painting page because I started face painting again after years and years and years. And I just wanted to kind of let you guys in on what's been going on these past six years, why I stopped face painting, why I decided to start again, and kind of fill you in on my life and, and all the new things going on. Um, so when I decided to stop doing YouTube, I actually never intended to fully quit, which is why there was never like a goodbye video or any explanations. Um, and that was the same for face painting in general. I never, um, decided to actually quit altogether. So when I started to come back to face painting and I started to meet face painters here locally. They're like, oh my gosh, what happened? You dropped off the face of the earth. People were asking questions. And I was like, at, all at the same time, I felt so loved that people genuinely cared and wanted to know. And then I also felt so bad that I just kind of disappeared and, you know, didn't tell anybody anything and left all of you guys wondering. So that ends today. I'm gonna fill you in on everything and kind of walk you along my journey of these past six years. So um, six years ago, about six months before I stopped YouTube, we had decided to sell our house um, and we lived in Lincoln, California at that time. And we thought we had met a realtor who told us that we were like in a bubble and the market was about to crash. Not the case at all, but it all worked out for the best. So we sold our house and we moved across town um, into a rental. And that rental was very small and it didn't really have a good place for me to film. It didn't have, I didn't have my own office anymore. I was editing in the middle of chaos. Not only that, I had already had like a hundred videos up. And also I noticed the videos that people were reacting to more in a positive way were really intricate detailed designs that I never would use on a job and that just wasn't fulfilling me because I wanted to help people to be able to add to their careers and to add to their books and and to give them something useful um, that they could use at events so it wasn't something I was enjoying very much um, and just with the chaos of our small house and everything, I was like, okay, I just need to take a step back. I need to focus on my family. I need to focus on painting locally, but I'll come back to this later. So I never fully intended to completely stop YouTube, which yeah, is why I never did a goodbye video or anything like that. So I kept painting locally for about a year after um, I quit YouTube. And why the sale of our house and renting actually worked out really well for us was because it gave us the freedom to move wherever we wanted, whenever we wanted. And it gave me the drive to make the move that we had been putting off for so long, which was an out of state move. I knew that I wanted my kids to be raised in a different environment than what they were experiencing where we lived in California. Um, I just wanted, I wanted to live somewhere with good values, somewhere with beautiful trees. And so we started to travel and look at different places that might be a good fit for our family. And then we went to Tennessee, the Nashville area, which is where we are now. And I instantly fell in love. Oh my gosh. I stepped off the plane and I was like, this is it. I loved it. I came back a second time with my daughter, one last time with my husband. We chose our plot of land. We live out in the country um, here about south of Nashville near Franklin. And it's just, I was so happy, you guys. And we bought our land. We chose our house because we are in a neighborhood, um, but our neighborhood is out in the country. So my husband wanted 
you know, a ton of acreage and to be all by ourselves. But I was like, no, I need friends. I need people. So we made a compromise. We moved into a neighborhood in the country and it was perfect. So we bought our lot. And then the next time we came to Tennessee was to sign for our finished house. So when we bought our house, our neighborhood was a farm. And when we came to see our house, it was an actual neighborhood. And that was the first time we got to see what it was going to be like. So that was really cool and exciting. Um, after that, we, you know, started trying to acclimate ourselves. I still, I brought all my face painting stuff. I still had plans to start it up here. I actually contacted um, a face painting group here right when I moved and I was like, hey, I'm thinking about getting started. Um, what do you guys think? How is it, what is it like here? And then shortly after that, so that was the end of 2018. Um, after about a, six months of settling in, I started to think about face painting again and then COVID happened. So we went all through the pandemic and during that time, I just became, you know, I wasn't working anymore. My husband had started his software business, which was amazing. And there was really no need for me to work. So I got very comfortable just, you know, hanging out, me and the kids. Um, but it got to a point where I just had a lack of purpose. Um, the children were getting older. Um, with the, I just felt so lonely in the pandemic. I started to slip into a little bit of a depression. Um, I think along with a lot of people during COVID, I started, I was drinking. It was not a good place. So that's when I was like, okay, something needs to change. And that's when I started going down my fitness journey, which is why I look so different today than I do in my videos. So I started doing HIIT exercises and this is like during lockdown, I would watch YouTube videos. I did them up in our bonus room and I did HIIT workouts every day. And about a year of that, I had become extremely thin um, and destroyed my joints, like completely. I <laughs> did my joints, I could barely walk. It was terrible. I had bad form and just that like very high volume movement wasn't good for me. And um, by that time, the, you know, everyone was going back out in public again. It was all normal again. So I hired a trainer to teach me how to go into the weight room and do weightlifting. And then I went down an entire bodybuilding journey. And I've been doing that for about two years now. I've been bodybuilding and that has changed my life. That is amazing. I'll do a whole nother video on that and how I like learned how to control my metabolism, how I learned how to completely change the shape of my body. It's my new passion. I am so passionate about it and I'm actually going to probably pursue a personal training um, career as well. I'm really excited about that. But other ways that I kind of expressed my creativity during that time that I wasn't painting was um, house design and also like DIY house projects. So I don't know if you can see, but I don't think you can tell. But behind me, there's a wall treatment um, that I did. I did a whole wall treatment with boards. Um, I put shiplap all over our house. I did built-ins. I did awesome like reclaimed wood wall on our gym. And so I think I wanna take you guys through my house as well and show you a house like tour. And so those are my three passions now is face painting, interior design slash like, you know, DIY, like built-in stuff like that. And also um, working out and bodybuilding and shaping my body almost as a form of art and teaching other women how to do that too. That is a huge passion of mine. Um, but after a while, um, I decided, you know, I had accomplished my goal physically. Um, I had done a lot in my house. And once again, I started to feel a lack of purpose and a lack of drive. And I was like, okay, 
you know, my the software business was doing great. I didn't have a need to work, really. I was very blessed in that, but I wanted to. I wanted to accomplish something again. And so I just started going crazy thinking of all of these things that I should do. Um, it had been so long since I had face painted at this point. It had been five years since I had face painted. And it just, I felt like I couldn't go back to that at this point. I was like, okay, well, what I can do real estate. I can sell luxury cars. I can work in an office. And the more I went down all of those different avenues, the more I realized how much I really love the freedom of owning my own business, being an entrepreneur, being able to say yes or no, like, yes, I'll take that job. No, I really want to rest, not going to. So that kind of shut everything down. The realtor, um, that avenue was very, I think I would like that, but just the demand on time that it would take away from my family, thinking about having to take calls constantly from people, the more I thought about it, the more I realized it wasn't for me. So I was just sitting there feeling frustrated and like I had all these ideas written down of what I can do. And my daughter comes in, my wonderful daughter, and she goes, mom, like, what are you doing? You already have a skill. You have an amazing skill. Just start up your face painting business again. And I was like, yeah, I think that's what I need to do. It's, something I love. It lets me express that artistic talent and I don't have to learn a new skill on top of getting back out there into the workforce because it had been five years since I had worked at all. I had five years of freedom to do whatever I want and to just jump back into something, you know, full time. No, no, I could not do that. So it did seem like the perfect opportunity. Not only that, she said that she wants me to train her to face paint too. And then my sons are interested in balloon twisting. So I was like, okay, this can be like a family legacy. So I got out, I brought all my paints with me. I hadn't thrown them away. Um, obviously they were very old, but I was able to practice with them and I was shocked. I was like, okay, it's like riding a bike. I can still do all this. I did have to um, remember some of my designs. That was one thing that um, I needed to practice because I was like, oh, what used to be thoughtless and just like, I didn't have to think or just come right out. I couldn't remember any of that. There's a few designs that I could still do that with, but I had to go back and look at pictures of my old work. Um, I kind of scrolled through my videos and looked at some of those, which was kind of fun um, and a total flashback because I hadn't looked at my videos in such a long time. I'd actually turned off all comments on my videos um, so that I wouldn't have to monitor anything. I just wanna, I wanted to kind of move on from that for a while. Um, so that was fun to go back and just, I just immersed myself for a good three weeks. I painted for hours every day, like the good old days back when I was learning how to face paint. Um, and I felt ready. And then I went on to a Facebook group in, in here in Nashville. And I was like, hey guys, I want to start painting again. I got some, bought a few new paints. And right away, like it was on October, I couldn't have like timed it better. I put it out there in October and people were like, psh, 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 just throwing jobs at me. And I felt so blessed. It was amazing. And I remember my first job that I went out on. It was a huge festival, actually. Like one of those just where you have a line a mile long and the parents are like, we're not waiting in that. It was one of those. And I was just nervous and I was afraid I was going to shake because I remembered when I first started face painting, um, I had to conquer shaking. I was very nervous beginner face painter. And especially if a parent was watching, I was, and I would blame it on coffee. I would say, oh, I had too much coffee. No, I was so nervous when I first started face painting. Of course that went away. And after years and years and years of face painting, there was no shaking, but this was my first job in a long time. And I just prayed the whole way to my job. Lord, please help me not shake. Lord, please help me not shake. And sure enough, God answered my prayer 
I was actually shocked. I didn't shake at all. It was like I was whipping kids out. I felt like I was right back in it. And I was like, okay, I made the right choice. This is exciting. And not only that, the face painting community here in Nashville was so wonderful. They were so warm. They were so welcoming. Um, I didn't experience that nearly as much in California. It's like they're a whole group and you just kind of help each other out. And whoever needs somebody for gigs, you're just like, hey, I can do it. And of course I did have some connections in California that were really, really great. Judy Peterson was my favorite. I loved her. Um, Ponytails the Clown was her name. Um, but I worked with her a lot. She was wonderful. But other than that, you know, I didn't really know many there. But here, it's amazing. It's just this whole community and I love it. So um, I've just since since October, I've been working on my website. I've been working on, you know, building my Instagram. It's been very slow going because I have a lot of stuff going on at the same time. Obviously, I have my children, they're, oh my gosh, Faith started college this year, which is, <sighs> boggles my mind still. I can't believe she's 19. Um, Jack is 17, Caleb is 12. So um, obviously I have a lot going on with them. Faith is still at home. She goes back and forth to college. Um, and then also, like I said, I'm pursuing a personal training career as well. Um, and then I am also helping to market our software company. So I have my hands in a lot of honey pots, probably too many. Um, but I, <laughs> when I decided to come back to face painting here in Nashville, I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to start YouTube again. And I apologize, this video is so long. Um, but I put it out there and I thought, well, of course I did expect to put videos of me working, things like that, just to promote your business. It's smart these days. If you are a face painter, put some stuff on YouTube. It doesn't have to be tutorials, but have someone record you while you're painting the kids, hashtag it, like, you know, face painting in Nashville, um, Nashville face painter, message me today. It, it's just smart. So that's what I, what I expected to do. I was thinking, okay, well, I'll just do some promotional things just to get some work out here. Um, but then Krivelin saw my video um, saying that I was getting my business here started again. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook, you've seen all this. Um, and she was like, hey, I want to send you something. I thought she was going to send me like two rainbow cakes. I was like, yay, that would be great. She sent me a whole box of stuff. Like I have an amazing kit, like instantly. It was incredible. So I've been talking to her about doing more tutorials and things like that for Krivelin. I think I'll do um, mixes of tutorials and shorts. They'll be like the same thing. That'll be YouTube shorts. I'll put them on TikTok. If you're on TikTok more, I'll put them on there too. And Instagram reels. They're, those will all kind of be the same. Um, so that's my plan. And also I let me know what else you'd be interested in seeing. So I think I, I already think I'm going to do a house tour to show you all of the things I've done to my house. Most of it was done during COVID because I literally had nothing else to do, but I've done a lot of stuff recently too, and I have more projects. So I think maybe I'll film myself with the, the new builds that I have. I'm going to put in, um, new sliding doors. I'm going to build some doors for my bathroom here. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to be doing. Um, but I'm also talked about, um, doing videos of my fitness journey, how I was able to gain control of my metabolism, how I was able to change my mindset. That's the number one thing that is the key is changing your mindset, how I did that. And I did it all on my own to be totally honest. I didn't even know what mindset was when I made this transition. And after I did it, I was like, oh, that's what I did. And so I kind of want to tell you guys about that and give you that story. And then even maybe um, do videos of my workouts so you guys can have an idea of what I do to maintain at this point, because that's all I'm doing at this point. I'm just maintaining, um, which is a great place to be. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. 
kind of brings you up to today, what I've been doing all of this time. Um, I just, I've missed you all. This is so weird and exciting. I, it's been almost 20 minutes I've been talking, so I apologize. Um, but please, please let me know what things you guys want to see from this channel. Um, the length of videos that you prefer at this point, because the videos used to be so long and who has patience for that? So let me know like the kinds of designs you want, the techniques, because there's so many new techniques now than when I stopped, like the ghosting. Oh, it's so pretty. Like I've been practicing that. The last gig I went on, I only allowed myself to do my to do my butterflies with ghosting outlines, so that I would, I would you know pick up the technique really well. Gigs are a good place to practice, guys. It's paid practice. Um, and yeah, just let me know the different techniques. If you want to see any different kind of products, if you want to see product reviews, if that's interesting, I was thinking of maybe buying brushes from all the different brands and like comparing them and what brushes are best for what. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. If you guys want to see workout stuff, if you want to see me do my DIY stuff, or if you're like, no, we're not here for that, just do face painting, please let me know. But I'm so happy to be back. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.